locked in to the hottest station on the planet. Resistance is futile. The revolution has begun. You're listening to Rebelpreneur Radio, helping you break the rules and build the business you need for the life you want. And now, broadcasting his pirate signal from somewhere beyond the status quo, here's your host, best-selling author, marketing and media strategist, Ralph Brogdon. Hello and welcome to Rebelpreneur Radio. It's the show that helps you build the business you need so you can live the life you want. I am your host, Ralph Brogdon. I am the marketing strategist, the publishing guy, the master your message person. And all of that is important and all of that is necessary to build your business. But I'll tell you one thing, if you don't know how to sell, if you don't know how to close people, you're not going to build the business you need to live the life that you want. And so no matter how great your marketing strategy is, you got to have a sales process in place. And with a lot of the coaches and consultants that I talk to, This is one of their big struggles. So today's expert is really going to help us to clarify why marketing won't fix your business until you address your sales process. And I'm really pleased to have on the show today, Peter Frumenti. He is the founder and CEO of Sales Team 6. I love that. After becoming one of the top closers in the high-ticket expert coaching space, Working for some of the most well-known coaching companies online, Peter began teaching coaches how to close more sales using his authentic enrollment sales process. He now works with business owners to build seven- and eight-figure sales teams and helps individual coaches improve their own closing rate and stop leaving closable sales on the table. Wow, this is the bread and butter. This is what puts money in the bank And this is how you make a difference and make money at the same time. Peter, welcome to Rebelpreneur Radio. Hey, thanks, Ralph. Happy to be here and uh, excited to chat with you a bit. So many people struggle in their coaching business, their consulting business. I think maybe coaches even more so than consultants. Um, Coaches, most of the ones I talk to, they want to make a difference. They also want to make money, but they struggle with how to do both at the same time. You are a living example that you can do both. You can make money and you can make a difference. And you're doing that in a in a very uh, profound level at a very high level. And so I want to learn how you do what you do. But first, tell us a little bit about yourself. How did you get involved in sales and what drew you into high ticket expert coaching? Yeah, Ralph, I, you know, I've been in sales since I was like 15 years old. I, I was, you know, selling shoes, shoes at the, you know, at the, at the shoe store in the mall, uh, as on commission as a kid. Uh, so I've been in sales my whole life, but, uh, you know, several years ago, I, you know, I had the dream of, of being a digital nomad and, and being able to, to travel and, and work from my laptop, uh, anywhere. And, uh, and I was trying to figure that out. And so for a long time, even though I had this, you know, this, uh, history of, of sales and sales jobs, you know, sales is, is a different kind of beast when it comes to coaching and consulting and, you know, transformational expert, uh, expert offerings, because, you know, most of the, the leads that a lot of these coaches and consultants are getting are coming in, uh, you know, from a, a a cold traffic source. And so they've got, you know, an hour to take somebody and and help them to, you know, many times make a, a high ticket investment. So, um, so yeah, I've been in sales, you know, pretty much forever, but, but several years ago, I, I was a broke coach and said, Hey, I got to figure this out and realized <laughs> I did not have my sales process figured out and I was getting leads, but I, I just wasn't able to close them into any kind of high ticket packages. So I went and worked for somebody else, uh, you know, kind of solved their, uh, sales process and then started coaching, uh, actually just on the side, some of the other salespeople, I became the, the top seller for, um, for a pretty big coaching company and, uh, and, uh, uh, several of the, the salespeople that worked there, like they would just, they'd come in two weeks later, they get fired. I was like the only guy who was making the cut. <laughs> and, uh, you know, after about, you know, a year or two of that, uh, I finally got to a place where I wanted to help some of those folks that seemed like nice guys that, that just didn't, you know, needed some support. So I did a little coaching on the side 
though you know, two of the guys that I did that for took off, became, you know, two of the top guys, uh, for the company I was selling for. And I went, Hey, I've, I've got something here. And, uh, from there, you know, I knew that I wanted to start uh, to go back to having my own business, but I had to solve this, this problem. Well, in, in solving that problem, uh, I realized there was a huge need to help coaches actually enroll clients into their, you know, their one-on-one coaching, their group offerings, et cetera. And, uh, and so I went out there and, and started, uh, started doing that, started building teams, started helping individual coaches and, and it's kind of blossomed from there. Help us to understand what a high ticket program is or what high ticket coaching is because I, I think some of our listeners they they don't really understand the monies that are being discussed and and they're stuck in the mindset of uh, my hourly rate or you know this is what I do for a hundred bucks and they really don't have a concept of high ticket it, tell us how you define high ticket what is that? Yeah, well, I'll say, uh, you know, one thing, you know, first, which is that, you know, one of the big problems that we have with, you know, an hourly rate or or even a monthly rate is that most of the clients that we deal with in, in a transformational space, you know, they're going to have, you know, they're going to have to push through some stuff to get whatever transformation uh, that they want. And so if you're charging an hourly rate, and they're booking week to week on an hourly session, then what happens is when it gets a little hard, a lot of those clients disappear. Mm -hmm. Whereas a high ticket is typically going to be, typically a high ticket is going to be minimum 3K, uh, and a typical 3K would be like for a six to eight or maybe 12-week program, and that's on the low end, uh, up to, you know, five, 10K, uh, maybe even 15K uh, offering for the first, like like I said, six weeks to to 90 days. And then most of the coaches that are doing this right um, are, are getting their clients' results during that period and then typically have a back end offer, which could be anywhere from, you know, twenty five to one hundred thousand dollars for a for a 12 months. And so that's, you know, kind of minimum being about three K, you know, uh, that that's kind of the high ticket space. And and really, it's it is for transformational offers where, you know, like, you know, someone like you, hey, you can you can help your clients get a heck of a lot, a uh, heck of a lot more business. That's transformational or somebody who's helping people, you know, beat. I've got clients who've helped. uh We've got a client right now, actually, who's working with people with autoimmune diseases and helps them beat type two diabetes and and MS and you know some of these other diseases. And then there's uh, you know dating and relationship coaches we work with, weight loss coaches, uh, you name it. So as long as there's a transformational offer, then we want people to commit to the time and the investment that it takes, both in money and energy and everything, to to actually achieve whatever that transformation they're seeking is. Yeah, that that's a really important distinction, and I'm, I'm so glad that you brought that up. People aren't paying that kind of money for information. They're paying that kind of money for transformation. <laughs> and I, right. I, I right. Mean, so many coaches, they think, well, you know, I'm going to give them a free ebook. Well, it, first of all, they probably won't read it. And even if they do read it, is it really going to change their life? You help people to sell transformational packages and sell them at a premium because we price things to value, not 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 um, pricing things according to hours or according to amount of work, but amount of transformation that we create in people's lives. And so that is the key, isn't it? To to be able to price something to value, you've got to be in the transformation business, not just the information business. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, that, that is the, the, the big difference. And most coaches are providing some form of transformation and, uh, like, let's face it, it's not typically going to happen in an hour. It's not typically going to happen in a week. And so, you know, you do want to be, um, you know, helping your clients through that process from start to finish. And the best way to do that is to, you know, to get them into a, into a program at a high ticket price and work with them to, uh, you know, to understand that, that like, Hey, you're going to get probably some of the way there. And then, you know, most of the time they, they, they get a result that they're ecstatic with and they want to keep going. Then, you know, there's back end offers and, you know, and things like that. But at the end of the day, uh, it, you know, really 
the opportunity uh, for the client to like, even when they make an investment like that, right? Like if I pay somebody $125 or $200 for an hour long session, like I have a different expectation of what I'm going to get than if I hand somebody three, five, seven, ten thousand dollars $10,000 and I'm going to work with them for the next six weeks, you know, I'm going to show up. I'm going to expect to get the outcome. I'm going to expect that both for myself. And I'm also going to expect that there is a process that the person I'm buying from can take me through to get me to the outcome I want. Yeah. And, and the real transformation is not going to happen in 60 minutes. It's going to happen in a process. And, and I think most people understand that. Um, one of the objections I hear from a lot of coaches is, well, my market is different or my customers are different or I really want to help everybody and everybody can't afford my services. So I have to price it uh less expensively. What, what do you say to, which I think is a mindset issue, but what, what do you say to someone like that that says, well, I don't think my customers or my clients, the people I'm trying to help, I don't think they can afford that. What do you say? You know, I, I've really, you know, rarely seen that, that I, you know, that, that, uh, if you've got a transformational offer of any kind that there, there isn't customers out there that will pay a high ticket price. Um, so usually that is absolutely a, a mindset, you know, thing that, that people need to get over. And, you know, the thing to keep in mind is, look, I, I feel you, you know, I have, uh, I have people that, that come to us, you know, who are, who are struggling financially and, uh, and just, you know, aren't in a place where they can invest in our high ticket program. And, and the reality is that, you know, oh, as time goes on, you know, like as, as I achieve some of our bigger goals, you know, we, we want to create a foundation um, that actually does forward entrepreneurship. You know, there's lots of things that I want to do, you know, as you grow your business, you can put in place a scholarship program if you want, you know, there's lots of ways that you can still help you, but you've got to put your oxygen mask on first, right? Like yeah. they say on, <laughs> on when you get on a plane, right? So you, you got to do that. So you're going to burn out if you're charging too little, uh, or you're, you know, you're, you're not, not able to get paid what you're worth. And then you're not going to be able to provide that transformation to anybody. So you do got to put your, your own oxygen mask on first. You do got to make sure that you're charging what you're worth. Um, and, and the other thing to keep in mind is, look, clients who pay more get better results for the reason I alluded to a few minutes ago. When you pay three, five, seven, ten thousand dollars $10,000 for something, you – the last thing you're going to want to do at the end of that six, eight, 12 week program is say, yeah, I never got around to, uh, to implementing that. <laughs> and, uh, you know, all right. When you pay 97 bucks for a, you know, a download of some sort and you don't get to it. And six months later, you're like, I never did. I forgot I had that. You know, I never did right. go through that. It's not that big of a deal, but that's not likely to happen if you spend a high ticket amount of money. So you, you actually set up the clients better for success. Uh, and you can give a lot more. So as you grow your business, if you're charging a, a, a price that allows for enough margin, that allows you, if they need extra support, there are other pieces, uh, uh, you know, things that, that they're going to need to be successful. You can go invest in additional coaches, additional products, additional things that you need to make your program world class. And so it actually serves the client better uh, by charging a high ticket, you know, price. Again, as long as you've got a transformational outcome that's worth the, that high ticket price, which m more often than not, if there's any kind of transformation going on, it's worth it. Yeah, that's so incredible. And I love the analogy of putting your oxygen mask on first. I mean, that's what they tell you, right? <laughs> when you're flying in the plane. Right. And the, and the other thing that I like to think about is I want to I want to help the world, you know, and I'm driving the ambulance to go and pick up all these people who need help, but I don't have money to put gas in the ambulance. So now I can't go anywhere. I can't help anyone because I'm, I'm not building a stable foundation for moving forward. You can make money and you can make a difference, but it's really hard to make a difference if you're not making money, because like you said, you're going to get burned out and you, you've got to find a way to make sure that you are using a strategy that supports you and supports the people that you're trying to help. Otherwise, you can't help anybody. Right, 100%. And, you know, and most of us have bought these, you know, 97 or 997, you know, $1,000 courses and things. And, you know, while we may learn some things, there be maybe some information there, as you said earlier, the transformation does come from having a dedicated, you know, process that you go through, information, and then having 
people to support you as you implement that information. And that's what a real transformational high ticket you know program really does. So uh, as far as I, I can see it, that's, that really is like I, you know, and I, I put my money where my mouth is. I invest in high ticket coaching, you know, all the time. I mean, you know, I've, I'm in a mastermind where, you know, um, I spent $40,000, uh, last year, um, on, on a mastermind. I'm in a different one this year. That's even more expensive. Um, you know, it's, and, and look, I, I get value from those things. Uh, you also find there's a much, uh, there's a caliber of, of dedicated people, you know, dedicated to getting the transformation, the outcome, uh, when, when you're in a group type program, especially with other people who've paid a high ticket price. And there's a lot of synergy that comes out of seeing other people who've made that same kind of investment, who are making progress, who are getting results. And, uh, and that's, that's the kind of environment that I want to be around. And that's the kind of environment that does really lead to success. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Now, when we talk about sales and and I think I think we've tapped into some of the mindset challenges that people have. We've talked about uh, the, the psychology of high ticket and why that's actually a better solution for clients. Um, what would you say is the biggest problem you see when you're trying to help people implement these sales programs? What is the, the what is the hang up and why is this so hard for us to to really nail it? What What is the hang up? You know, the biggest thing is they have no structure. Uh, they're usually following some script that some guru gave them. And they're like, you know, <laughs> totally doesn't feel authentic. It doesn't feel comfortable. They're reading, you know, from this paper and, and they're just like, well, I don't know what else to do. I couldn't close anything before. Once I got the script, I'm at least getting some sales, but they've just got no idea what they're doing. They absolutely just, they're, you know, they're, and they're, you know, they're actually not only outside their comfort zone, you know, they feel like a pushy jerk most of the time. And so, you know, we, you know, one of the biggest things that I've seen, you know, transform that we've got a, you know, I call it our triple stack magic script. And I call it that because it, it does, uh, instead of being this, you know, sort of rote thing, canned script that you've got to follow, it allows for a lot of freedom and it allows for the client, uh, you know, the, the coach who's, who's talking to that client, it allows for them to lead them as a leader while also taking them where they need to go. Because there's really three things that equ- equate to a sale. It's getting an understanding of the client you're talking to's motivation that, you know, that they actually want to make a difference, like, you know, what it's costing them to stay stuck where they are and, you know, how bad they want to change it. So they've got to have a painful problem and then they've got to have a, a, a need to solve it because it's costing them more, you know, maybe not specifically in money, in some cases, yes, but in some way, you know, financially, non-monetarily, monetarily, it's costing them more to stay stuck than it is to invest with you and make a change. So that's the first thing is understanding what's the motivation, what's the pain, you know, where are they really at? And then the second piece is actually qualifying that there's somebody you even want to work with, right? You need to shift things instead of like trying to, you know, like talk people into working with you. You need to be the expert. You need, you need to take sort of the doctor frame here and you need to diagnose what's going on and then qualify, hey, is this somebody that I can actually help? And that does two things. It, it one, shows them you care enough that you're not just taking anybody. You're taking the people you know you can help. Um, and then two, it starts to feel more like them, like they're applying to work with you, hmm. uh, which, you know, is a little bit of a shift because now they're like, oh, gosh, I hope he, you know, I hope he picks me because it really sounds like this guy can help me. <laughs> so if you're doing that right, right, like, and 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 guess what? You, like that, it, that has to be authentic. You can't just, you know, like, I'll take everybody, but I'm going to pretend like, you know, I'm, right. I'm qualified. <laughs> no, we, we like – Look, I don't want to work. I talked to a guy today and, you know, he was real kind of nonchalant. And I'm just like, look, I just, you don't sound that motivated. You know, I don't get the sense, like when you get in here, like it, you know, you're going to, along the way, you're going to hit some road bumps. We're going to help you through all of that. Um, but, you know, I need people that aren't going to give up. They're going to push through and get the result. That's why we have a hundred percent success rate, you know? And so I said that to him and, um, and, you know, the more I talked with him, the more it was just, it was obvious to me that he was going to come in. He just wasn't going to do the work and then it was going to be the blame game. Well, yeah. I don't have the time or the energy for that. Right. So, um, so I, you know, I disqualified him. I told him, Hey, I just don't think we can help you. Um, and it was funny cause then by the end he was sort of like, Oh no, I really want your help. And he was like, you know, and then, and then, we, <laughs> right. And I wasn't doing that as a sales tactic. I really was like, I don't want to work with this guy. Um, and I told him, I gave him some homework. So if you go do this stuff, like prove to me that you're, you're going to go and like be a serious client we could talk again in a couple of weeks. And so I gave him some homework. We'll see if he does it. If he does, then, you know, I might change my mind. So that's, that's one piece. And then the third thing is actually connecting, you know, your offer 
to their specific problems and how it's going to solve those specific problems and get them the outcome that they want. So if you understand the problem, you've diagnosed it right, you've qualified, there's somebody you can help, and then you've connected the dots for them so they can see how your offer is the only offer. And that's the key thing is, is look, there's a hundred other coaches that, you know, whoever's listening, there's a hundred other coaches that do what you do. And you know, everybody knows how to do Facebook ads now. You know, it's a very competitive environment. And it, look, if you don't stand out in some way, then you're not going to get that client. And the best way to stand out is to stand out as a leader in the sales call and help them make a decision to buy, not push them and try to sell them, which is a, a, a real key distinction. Yeah, what what a great philosophy. And you you know, we, we started out this program talking about why marketing won't fix your business until you address your sales process. And you you mentioned something important. Facebook ads seems like everybody is doing them or they know how to do them or there's a course teaching you how to do them. <laughs> so it's there's lots of marketing tools out there, lots of marketing systems, lots of ways to get your message out to the world. So what happens is it's easier than ever to generate a ton of leads and a ton of interest. But if you don't have a way to qualify them and then a, a process in place that allows you to work with people that you know you can help and people who can afford you, then you're basically creating a lot of busy work for yourself and you're not actually building your business, even though you've got all of these great marketing tools because you haven't designed the sales process. Right. And, and I say to people, you know, how do you even know if your marketing is working? You know, I mean, granted, if you're getting leads, obviously something's working, but you know, but I, so many clients come to us and they say, you know, I've, you know, I've been through three different programs. I've spent $30,000 and different coaches and marketing guru, gurus to teach me. I built five different funnels, you know, and none of them are working. Right. And I'm like, well, when you say they're not working, what do you mean? They're like, well, I'm getting leads, but everybody's broke. All I do is attract these super broke people. Nobody's got any money. And I'm like, really? You know, like, so, and I'm, I just don't buy it. I'm like, so when you talk to 10 people, how many are closing? I could talk to 30 people and close zero. I'm like, really? And you know, some coaches I'll talk to like, oh, I'm closing, you know, one or two. I'm like, look, if you're not closing four or five, six leads out of every 10 people that you actually speak with, right? Get on the phone, have a conversation, especially if they've applied to work with you, like most of the, the funnels and, uh, the, the, the clients that we work with. And so, we look at that and they always think it's their marketing. Oh, I just need a better indoctrination sequence. I just need a better way, you know, to like get them warmed up before they get on the phone. Or I need to say something in the webinar that like tells them that, you know, that, uh, that they shouldn't get on the call if they're broke. And almost every time, in fact, like, in fact, not even almost every single time we listen to their calls and we go through, I was like, look, that person's not broke. They literally told you about the, the, the vacation they're taking to the Caribbean this summer. They're not broke. They're telling you they're broke. They, they, it's not that they don't have money. It's that they don't have money for you. And the reason they don't have money for you is because they're not sold. Right. So then they assume it's their marketing. They keep trying to fix their marketing and like they end up going out of business or they solve the sales process. In fact, I think you solve that first because the cool thing is if you know how to sell, even if you've only got five leads, you're going to make money that month. And you know, when you, when you, when you know how to sell and you get your marketing fix and now you're getting 30, 40, 50, a hundred leads a month and you can close 30, 40, 50% of those. Now you can make a lot of money, but so many people have it backwards. They just keep trying to fix their marketing, but then they've spent all this money to fix their marketing and now, and now they're still not closing sales. And so then they, they have to fix the sales part later. So whether you do one or the other first, you have to do both. They, they are the, the, the foundation of a successful business. Mm -hmm. Makes, makes so much sense. I think that our listeners are going to be interested in connecting with you if you have anything that can help them to work on this and fix this. This is money that they're leaving on the table every day that they don't get this resolved in their business. Do you have anything that would be helpful yeah. You know, one of the big things uh, that we've, you know, found, look, look, everybody who's listening to this, if you're not reviewing your own calls and, and actually like recording your calls, start recording them now and be, and be listening to your own calls. Uh, that's, you know, that's really key. Uh, the second thing is, look, having an expert actually listen to your call, you know, send you a transcript, show you exactly where you've, you know, you've ma made some missteps and here's what to ask here. Here's what to do here. Here's, you know, where you're missing the ball here and give specific feedback. Like that's, you know, that 
that's when things really change. Because so many coaches, you know, they've been in these different different coaching programs. They've they've hired these gurus, and you know, they hear things like, "Oh, you just need to lead more on the call," or "Or you just need to learn this," you know, three sentence, you know, objection handler. <laughs> you know, and it's like, look, none of that stuff works, right? Because we're not talking to robots; we're talking to humans, <laughs> and so we have to actually be a human, right? Um, and so that's why you know I call it authentic enrollment because what it's really about is having an authentic conversation. So anyway, so. Uh, for guests of your show, uh, we're going to do it like a little exclusive offer. If anybody, if you've got a, a, a coaching program or high ticket offer, you've, you've got leads and you know, you're leaving sales on the table, uh, we'll actually do a call review for you. So you can send in a review, uh, just send that into hello at salesteam com. That's hello at salesteam the number com. Just send an e- in an email that says, Hey, I'd like to get a call review. And we'll respond back with a form you can fill out and uh, and submit your call. And then uh, we'd be happy to to give you some specific feedback and things that, that you can can uh, can change on that call. And for a few select people, if we really feel like, hey, there's an opportunity here to make some changes, um, you know, we'll even do a, a short coaching session with those folks uh, that are their listeners of yours. What a great offer. And, and it's so important, especially rebelpreneurs, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs. We tend to get in our silo and we never get any feedback. We never have anyone look over what we're doing. And a lot of people, I think, are just stumbling around. So to be able to get expert opinion, expert advice and input and feedback on what you're doing so that you can get better and better. I think that is such a super offer. So um, I hope our listeners will take advantage of that. And Peter, I wanted to ask you, your your company is Sales Team 6. Is that a playoff of SEAL Team 6? It, it is. We, we, we've got an elite team of, uh, of sales professionals and coaches uh, working to help, help, uh, help coaches improve. <laughs> that, that is such, such a great name. I love that. Perfect. And, um, and really describes what you do as a sales warrior going into places where no one else can go and, and achieving great results. This has really been refreshing and eye-opening. I hope it motivates our, our listeners, especially coaches, to uh, to really look at their process, rethink their marketing in terms of how they actually talk to people and and actually structure their services around a sales call so that they can really deliver the value that they are worth and the value that people are willing to pay them for for that transformation. It's so important. So this has really been great. Any final words of wisdom that you'd like to leave us with as we close? You know, I think the, the, the main thing that I, I really want to say is, is, you know, get out of your head on your sales calls. It's just a conversation. Focus on, you know, diagnosing and understanding the person that you're talking with. And look, if you're not sure, you know, how to do that better, you know, send in a call. Um, we'd love to help you. Make sure you, you mentioned Ralph. So we know, uh, you know, that, that, uh, you, you know, you're, you're eligible for, for a free review and, um, and yeah, and just, just, uh, just, enjoy your conversations, enjoy those sales calls. If you're dreading them, like that's one of the number one things we hear from the clients that, that work with us is when they're done with our program, they actually enjoy their sales calls again. And if you're not enjoying your sales calls, there's something wrong and, and we need to fix that. Well, and, and that's a transformation right there, isn't it? To, to transform something yeah. that we don't enjoy to something that we look forward to. Very powerful. I've been speaking with Peter Frumenti. He is the founder and CEO of Sales Team 6. He has worked with some of the top closers in the high-ticket expert coaching space, and now he helps business owners with seven- and eight-figure sales teams and helps individual coaches to improve their closing rate and stop leaving closable sales on the table. Find out more at salesteam6.com or hello at salesteam6.com to take advantage of that free sales call review offer. Peter, this has been fantastic. Thank you so much for sharing your wisdom with us today. I really appreciate it. Yep. Thanks for having me, Ralph. You've been listening to Rebelpreneur Radio with Ralph Brogdon. Download the show notes and much more at rebelpreneur.com.